Hello there, great people. I hope you are doing well. My name is Nuno. Greetings from Portugal. Thank you for stopping by if you are new to this channel and thank you for coming back if you are already subscribed to the channel. So, uh, following my first video that was, you know, using iOS uh, 12 on my primary devices like the iPad Air first generation, the video is already out. It is this one and I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to check and if you haven't already seen it so uh, i went through all the things on that ios and using it as a regular basis on my primary ipad okay ipad air first generation that's why you know old device with a new ios to see the performance today we are going to talk about mac os mojave i'm using it on my primary computer okay i know i'm crazy but I made the, all my backups, okay, all my important files, photos and everything. I have backups of, of uh, everything, once again, sorry for repeating myself. If I encounter any issue, I can always revert and I have all my files secured. But for testing purposes, I install it on my primary machine so I can test it. And I can tell you, give you a feedback because we are going to the screencast but it's running pretty well okay but uh, I will tell you there are issues okay but uh, let's go ahead let's go to the screencast see how it performs the kick bands you know uh, all the new things that I think that are useful and other things that I don't remember anymore so let's go ahead uh, and uh, dive right in okay so let's go ahead and check the new things first then let's see what applications work and don't work perhaps you have one of the applications that i have here installed don't uh, again this is my primary uh, operating uh, my primary computer so i have installed mac os mojave on this computer okay but as I told you in the beginning, I, had my, I have my backups of everything that is important to me. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check the new features of this OS. Beginning, of course, with, uh, you know, everyone was speculating about this and was happy. It is the dark mode. I have to be honest, it's not the feature that I'm most fan of. But, uh, you know, uh, on the evening, when your eyes are tired, you know it seems it seems okay of course keep in mind that uh, always uh, only the applications that are stock that are you know uh, the stock applications from apple uh, you know are now with this uh, dark mode the others you know since this os was not released yet there are still some applications that have the white background okay now this is the dark mode, uh, one of the features. I will go ahead and turn the white mode because that's how I like to see my operating system. This is one of the features that you, you can expect. Let's go ahead to the screen protector. You also have the dynamic wallpaper. Uh, there are still issues with this dynamic wallpaper. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And when your computer goes to sleep, uh, in my case, uh, I have a blank screen, okay? Only the space to put the password, but the blank screen. So I suppose it has something to do with this dynamic wallpaper uh, or not, because sometimes I put this static wallpaper and the same thing happens. So it must be a glitch, a glitch. If you install, uh, keep in mind that that uh, can happen, okay? Now, uh, regarding the dock, you have only you have also one more thing that is show recent in the dock. You have this space over here. I don't know if you can see my mouse. It's over here. You have this space, and you have the recent here. Okay. <clears throat> so if I close now Safari, I suppose no. But you have about three recent apps that are open. You it will appear here. I also don't like this, so I always I'm uh, it's checked because I'm making this demonstration to you now uh, nothing here regarding security there isn't anything uh, that I have noticed of course I have enabled 
uh, to install uh, third-party apps. I like that, so I still have that available. I have a video, if you check my channel, how to enable uh, that, you check that. But there is something that is very, very important here. And it's about, you know, now you, you have the ability to, to check like on your iOS device, uh, what are the apps that are, you know, uh, using your microphone and camera, okay? Also photographs. So uh, I suppose now in macOS Mojave, you have this two, the camera and the microphone, and you are able to see what application is using this, uh, this uh, uh, you know, the camera and the microphone, and I believe also the photographs, I don't know. But these two, I'm sure that they weren't on the previous build of IC era. So this is good for privacy and for you to check what apps are using your um, system. Now, let's go ahead, nothing in spotlight, uh, notifications, there isn't anything new, and here, nothing new also. So there are one thing here that it wasn't on I Sierra and now it's on this Moja, Mac OS Mojave. It's the, you know, it's the same as iOS. Uh, on the past, you had to go to the App Store, okay? And then, and this is also a new thing, this App Store, and then you have to click on, uh, you know, to check if there was any, any uh, software available to download, okay? Now you go, I suppose you can go also here, but on system preferences, you have the software, you know, um, upgrades already built in. So, and of course you have uh, check for updates, download if you want, when available, uh, lots of things that are new here. So, and uh, also a different symbol here, okay, uh, on, on uh, users and groups. And if I go here to iCloud just to check, uh, there isn't anything. You can also go ahead and put on the cloud stocks and your home app. Okay, this is new because this stocks application is new. Okay, now this is what you can encounter on system preferences. Regarding new apps, you have now, and sorry, I have to check. This is, I put my applications here in the dock. You have the Dictaphone. Uh, honestly, I don't use uh, Dictaphone and there isn't uh, uh, the ability here on the Mac if you create a, a new voice memo to delete. So probably in future betas, you have that, that, that ability. If you record here, you don't, you can't uh, delete. Okay. You also, uh, perhaps you can delete on your phone and then it will delete here, but this, uh, there isn't anything available yet to delete your voice memos. So this is another app that is new. Of course, I told you about the stocks app. It's new also. I don't use this also. Mm, I don't use this. So you have, of course, your, you know, stock application, your companies, and also news about uh, the companies. Okay, another new one. And uh, for the first time, you also have news. Let's go ahead. Okay, news. You also have news on your Mac. Okay. I live in Portugal, so I perhaps this because I don't have it on my phone, the news app uh, in Portugal, we don't have that uh, that app uh, available. So I suppose in future betas or in the final release, this will be out. OK, so but you have now uh, the ability to check news and this is very good. I hope it reaches the Portuguese market also. Now, guys, these are the main uh, apps that you can find. Uh, also, the home uh, app is new. Now you can control your automation. I don't have anything uh, here in my in my office with uh, you know uh, lights. And, no, I have the I have to. I I still use the analog switch to turn off and turn on the lights. So, but you have already now the home app also available in the Mac. So this is useful for you guys that you use automation in your house or office. Now, these are the apps that are available on this new 
release. Now, let's go ahead and I will tell you a little bit about the Geekbench that I took. Of course, I did, I'm now making the screencast, uh, so the results will be, will be lower because I'm taking resources of the system. But this is a very good, this is very good news. This is a MacBook Pro, late 2015. It was the i model, okay, top, top of the range. It has 16 gigs of RAM, it's a Core i7 2.5, um, 2.5 2, 2, 2 gigahertz, and it has the dual graphic cards, okay? So this was the top of the model, uh, late uh, mid 2015. I don't change this. Mac because I still have available all my ports and the ports that I need. I don't, I'm not a fan of the new touch bar MacBooks. But uh, in iSierra, I had at least uh, 14,000. So I have 1,000 more with this release on multi-score and the single core remains the same as iSierra. I don't have here the image to... to to put side by side, but uh, trust me, that was the result that I had. It was about 13,900 and now uh, it's about 1,500, so seems good. It's only a, a test, it's Geekbench, but this is, you know, uh, perhaps following the same trend that they talk about iOS, you know, speeding up all the process, you know, um, and, you know, uh, putting the process a little more speedy guys i'm i'm doing this with no, no script that's that's a, a thing on my channel i don't make any script so sometimes the video are short short sometimes the video are a little bit longer but i want to go through all the things um, that uh, i have encountered when using about two weeks this uh, os now regarding some things that don't work and this for me is a major issue final cut sometimes you know and i will open sometimes it freezes and i cannot do anything okay so uh this is the first uh, the first part of the video still you know but sometimes it freezes and i cannot do anything so perhaps i will have to revert to uh, OS uh, i Sierra, to Mac OS i Sierra, since I make videos as a hobby for you uh, on YouTube and I rely on Final Cut. And for you guys that rely on Final Cut, please be aware that Final Cut has issues in Mac OS uh, okay. Mojave. And this for me is, you know, uh, a no no. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, regarding other apps, you know, like Twitter, it works okay. You know, uh, you have now, of course, the re redesign uh, books. Okay, so uh, it works. It works okay. No problems there. Uh, and this is also new. And redesign is not uh, iBooks now. It's um, only books. Uh, everything here that I have on the dock works. The FaceTime works, messages work, no problem at all. Uh, now, regarding this, I have this Boom 3D. It's, you know, uh, a app, an app that you can test if you have iSierra. It's a paid app, but you have enhanced sound on, in your headphones if you are, you know, seeing a movie or playing a game it's very very nice this doesn't work um, and uh, you know everything if you have uh, microsoft work microsoft word the microsoft you know apps it, they work very very well so no issues there uh, the main issue that honestly pixelmator also works okay without any issues it opens we can work on that um skype honestly i don't know because on ios 12 on my iphone it doesn't work here it seems to be okay that i'm not signed and uh, you know if uh, of course numbers everything work pages that's the stock apps so they work of course um google chrome no problems whatsoever it works also I have also here Opera, 
no problems whatsoever it works without any issues now on the menu bar uh, I use no I was talking there isn't any issues and I okay on the menu bar I use you know uh, forecast clean my Mac if you use clean my Mac you have issues okay if you have the older version of clean my Mac uh, it doesn't work I have clean my Mac X okay this is the application that I use to clean all my Mac and keep keep on the Mac running this the operating system running very very smooth so uh, if you trust on clean my Mac to uninstall and to clean all the trash that uh, you know accumulates over the time it doesn't work you have to go ahead and download this clean my Mac X it's a uh, better uh, but go ahead and check it okay it's i didn't pay it because i i paid the 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 other version so uh i had i, I haven't uh, i have sorry sometimes guys i'm from portugal and the word skips me in english i i didn't pay because i had the former mac um the clean my mac okay but for if you download I, th I suppose you have to pay now guys the overall uh, of course for primary three reasons i will not show you my photographs and everything i have my children there and but uh, it works it, have a, it has a new layout so everything works very well itunes it was redesigned um you know for me itunes is still a, a big big mess i honestly don't know why they uh, apple doesn't uh, allow allow us now to backup on itunes we have to backup on the cloud uh, i like honestly to backup uh, on itunes but now it's not possible so uh overall guys if you see all this big doc with this all these applications for example app cleaner to uninstall applications it works everything you know for now it's okay of course i have here some apps that for example cocktail i don't know if it works or not but okay see uh, an app that is not uh, currently working cocktail is also to mess a little bit uh, with your operating system okay so it doesn't work i have to wait to to for them to release the the new version and break let's see if it works it works um remind me later but as you can see if you have applications and this is what i want to tell you if you have applications that you rely uh, go ahead create a partition uh, check macOS Mojave, install your applications and see if they work, okay? Uh, because this is, is the first beta, so it's extremely unreliable. But I have to tell you, I'm impressed for the first beta that things work so well, okay? No hiccups, no um, black screens, no beach ball, you know... Uh, no turning off the computer so i still have boot camp with no issues so guys this is a long long video um sorry about that but this is the explanation that i want to give you if you want to test the um, this uh, this new release for a final uh, you know uh, conclusion i have to tell you that this mac os mojave is um, you know Honestly, it will be something to create this, uh, you know, the operating system very, very smooth because I Sierra, you know, lots of hiccups, lots of mess. And this one for a first beta, once again, seems pretty, pretty, pretty good. So, guys, let's go ahead to the main camera and I will just say one or two things. So, guys, this is it. I hope you like it. Um the next video as i promised on my first one is my iphone 8 that is also running ios 12 okay beta one it is my primary phone and the next video will be regarding uh, how ios 12 performs on my iphone okay so thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you very very soon bye bye